All right, people, so your boy just got out of the new Indiana Jones movie, so I'm giving you a live, fresh out the theater, quick review. And bottom line, uh, first of your boy, Harrison Ford, he's back playing Indiana Jones, the character that we all have loved over the years. So this is the fifth installment. It was directed by James Mangold. And... um overall the movie was decent um there was some cool action sequences that uh took place storyline was decent you know acting acting was pretty good i mean it's harrison ford but i don't know there was just something about the movie that it just felt okay you know it just kind of felt like uh um i haven't seen kingdom of the crystal skull in a long time but i kind of feel like this one is probably better than that one so like i don't know as of right now fresh out the theater i feel like um i'm gonna give indiana jones and the dial of destiny probably we're talking like uh 6.5 soft seven probably i still gotta digest it just it just felt like something was missing the de-aging CGI, when the, there were scenes where we see like a young indie, it was pretty decent, but then it just felt like sometimes the lips wasn't syncing um, with the audio, like with his voice. But overall, like the movie was pretty good. Um, yeah, I think it's better than the fourth one. I haven't seen the fourth one in a long time. But other than that it's uh probably um it's probably worth seeing matinee i would say i don't think it's worth regular admission definitely go see it um yeah matinee matinee is probably the best option but like if you're a diehard like indie fan i say i say go see it just to see it you know it's supposed to be harrison ford's last hurrah but I don't know, it was just something about it. Like it was just, it just felt okay. It just felt like something was missing. I don't know, maybe because Harrison's getting old. I don't know. But other than that, I mean, it was a good time. Like I, I, I like it was a decent movie overall. I just felt like something was missing. And I feel like some people, the runtime, oh, the runtime was definitely, it could have been shorter. This movie's like two hours and 30 minutes. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of felt it. And I was like, there were certain parts of the movie where I was like, all right, I kind of want this to hurry up and wrap up. You know what I'm saying? Like, this movie did not need to be two hours and 30 minutes. It could have been like a cool hour 55 tops, two hours. So I did feel like I felt the runtime with this movie and it was a little bit too much. But like I said, overall, there were some cool action sequences, nothing really spectacular. Acting was pretty decent and um storyline was okay I think, you know what i think i definitely like this storyline better than um the kingdom of the crystal skull definitely i just haven't seen that movie in years because it just it was just okay but other than that go check it out during mad name that's my review on the new indiana jones and um the dial of destiny go see it yeah go see it during mad name folks so you guys know the drill if you like what you see you want to see more you know hit the subscribe button after doing that hit the bell button so you get notified every time i upload a video and please leave a comment at the bottom let me know what you thought of the fifth indiana jones installment and hit that like button i'll see you guys next time peace